Victor. Hello. We decided to come here. There's a lot more people that we came here with, but we decided to dip and we might go chill with them later. Behind the doors of uh, Santa's workshop. There's always an office. It's important right now. Getting, getting some hot chocolate eventually, thanks to this guy. Literally, you gotta give him a shout out, guys. Very nice. He is beautiful. Heading to the bus stop and then uh, probably going home. Off the bus now, heading home. Long day of just chilling at the mall and such. We did a little urban exploring. It's very good. We didn't get anywhere though. Still though, very fun, very fun. Highly recommend you go to that mall. Okay, so this weekend a lot of things happened um, that I didn't record. I don't know why, I guess I just got the wrong shots. One of the things I'm actually using right now, now this is my new monster iPhone tripod. Let me just show you how big this thing is. So that's the tripod right there and it goes all the way down. It's actually not on the floor, so this thing can basically like stand without the need of a table now so I can I can um how do I put this anyways so one of the things I want to talk about is doing stuff on your own a lot of people um know this like the stuff I talk to you guys about isn't stuff that's unknown it's just stuff that I decide to talk about if you get what I mean like it's it's fairly well-known stuff I just elaborate on it uh, so today I thought I would talking about I uh, uh, can't talk um I thought I would talk about I've said that word like three times in that sentence talk 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 I can't say it anymore um but I'm going to talk to you about uh, I'm gonna talk to you about doing stuff um, now doing stuff generally is considered hard. I mean, you know, we have the words like hard work. And if you think about the words hard work, you think of very, sw you know, blood, sweat, and tear sort of environment. If you if you really think about the, the word hard work in depth, now I know this may sound completely and utterly stupid, but if you actually think about it, the word hard work is kind of described, when you think of it, you think of the sweatshop sort of labor as like, Oh, it's hard work, like gear grinding, sort of just pain um, thing you have to do. When really, the word hard work and the word work, um, which I think in the in more recent years have, and by more recent years I mean the 20th and 21st century, uh, maybe even the 18th century, have the the word work has been thought of as negative. Um, Oh, I have to go to work. Oh, I have to do some hard work. Oh, darn, I have to, you know, I have to do this homework. Um, work's been a very negative word. If, if you hear the word work, we generally associate it with something that's hard, that's laborious. Um, when really it's not like that. Because you can have work that's hard. Sure, working in a sweatshop or on an assembly line, that's hard. But you can also have good work. Um... For example, you know, working with Syrian refugees, it's good work. Um, 
working at a daycare center. Depends if you like kids. If you're like me, and it's good work. Building a tripod, this monster tripod, which I can use now to go out and film. That's good work, you know? Doing things like that. I think work is a very misjudged word. And doing stuff yourself requires work. When I say that, though, I tr I'm, I'm going to try and use work in a, and, and make it as positive as possible. Um, to do something and to accomplish something in your life, you need to put in a lot of work in a positive way. You have to enjoy the work you're doing or else you're not going to do very good work. Um, you have to thrive. You have to, you know, just really get into your work or else you're not going to produce work that's worth it. You're not going to produce work that's worth your time. It's just going to be bad work. I mean, as, as savage as that sounds, it's just going to be bad work. Um, and bad work isn't worth, uh, worth your time. You should really spend your time, spend your effort on doing stuff that's good, that's productive, that's going to help you out long way. Now, I'm only, what, 15? I don't know much uh, compared to people who have been doing this for 20 or 30 years. But I like to be observant. Observant. Uh -huh. And being observant, um, I've noticed that there are a lot of people out there who generally don't like their work. Um, and those people that generally don't like their work generally don't produce good work. Generally sit in an office and, you know, get, have heaps of paper stacked up on their desk. They're just stalling time and just ignoring it. They're, they're not doing positive work. It's like me in math class. Um... I don't do very good work <laughs> because I don't like math. Math's just not my strong subject um, compared to socials or visual arts or arts or anything that involves art. I'm, I'm, I'm passionate about it. I'm good at it, um, in my mind anyways. I don't know about you guys. Uh, but, yeah, I just, I, I think that you have to be passionate. I think that you have to enjoy something. And I think that you really need to be engulfed in your work. Not too much, but a you know, healthy amount. You have to be engulfed in your work to be productive or else you're just going to be counterproductive. Anyways, um, that I, I thought of that whole thing as I was making this beautiful tripod, which is holding up my phone right here. Um, so yeah, uh, if you want to do something, I love this quote. If you want to do something good, do it yourself. Don't get somebody else to do it unless they're good at it. <laughs> unless you've, like, paid them to be good at it. Anyways, I've gone on five minutes of rambling. This is basically a whole vlog's worth of stuff. And, um, yeah, it's just too much talking. So, uh, I'll talk to you guys later. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Unless you're just gonna hate, then I really don't care. Uh, and, uh, goodbye.